Hi, this is a short video to kind of correct some mistakes I made on. Uh, I sent out a quiz, 7.4a, and there were some questions there that you probably didn't have a background in. And so this would be good for 7.4a and 7.4b, so let's put an a here too. Uh, I kind of sent out the wrong quiz, so we're corrected. So on 7.4b, this starts on page 342. There's a problem here. It's 5 equals 3x. And here we want to solve for an exponent, which is, you know, we know that 3 to the 1 power is 3, 3 to the second power is 9, but 3 to what power is 5? So powers don't always have to be just whole numbers. They can be uh, decimals and things like that. So we're going to show you an easy way to do this. There's a couple of different ways, but this is probably the easiest. We're going to use a function on your calculator called LOG. It stands for a logarithm. Um, if you don't have this calculator yourself, you should have an LOG key. And, uh, you have to get at least a scientific calculator. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides, the log of 5, equals the log of 3x. And logarithms have a, a certain, I don't want to go into the whole thing, but they have a certain property where we can simply put this x in front of the word log. We can, in other words, change this instead of a power to a multiplication problem. <clears throat> So we have x times log 3. Then if I wanted to solve for x, like I normally do, I'm going to divide both sides by log 3 to get x by itself. Because this is a times problem, I'm going to do it with division. Now, this is where you have to have a calculator. So we're going to put in get this so you can see. I'm pretty good right there. Huh? So I'm going to take log 5. I'm just going to hit log 5. But I want to complete the parentheses, so I want to make sure you hit the parentheses key. Divide by log, I mean, excuse me, log 5. Yeah, divide by log, okay, let's find it. There we go, 3. And then all I have to do is hit the equal sign. And bingo, I have my answer, very long answer. So I probably carry it out maybe two decimal places, 1.46. So what, I, what I'm saying is that if I took three and I raised it to this weird number, 1.46, I should get five. Let's see if it works. Three raised to the 1.46. Now I might not get exactly five, but it should come up pretty close, 4.97, you know, pretty close to five. So this is an approximate answer. It's not exact, but it's it's close. Okay, so on the homework I gave you, I gave you a problem. I'm going to actually work the problem with you. So if you're watching this video, you get a free problem. Uh, this was for problem nine and ten. It says, under ideal conditions, a population of rabbits has an exponential growth rate of 11.7 per day. Consider an initial population of 100 rabbits. What is the population after nine days? Okay, so we're going to use this formula right here. A equals 1 plus um, the growth rate, which we we'll call R times the number of years normally, but in this case, it should be the number of days. And, and we want to multiply that by, I'm sorry, the, uh, the principal or the, the uh, starting amount. This is the amount you started with. Okay, so the amount we're going to have at the end of nine days, let's see, we started out with a population, P for population. 100 rabbits, 1 plus, and the growth rate is 11.7% per day.
pretty high. So we're gonna move this over two places to make it a complete decimal, 117. And we're gonna do this for nine days. Okay, so let's calculate that out. We're gonna add that together. It'd be 1.117 raised to the nine. And we can just put it in our calculator that way. 100, just put the parentheses. One, let me put it over here so you can see. 100 parentheses, 1 1.117. Raised to the ninth equals 270.69. So we're going to round this off. These are actual animals. 271 rabbits at the end of nine days. Okay, the problem I was more concerned with was the second, find a doubling time. To find a doubling time is a little complicated. So there's a little shortcut. This is called a doubling rule. And if you take the number 70 and you divide it by the percent without changing it to a decimal, just your 1.1, 11.7%. Just put that underneath there. 70 divided by 11.7 should give you the doubling time. It'd be pretty close. 70 divided by 11.7. This will tell you the number of days it would take for this to happen. The population of the rabbits would double in 5.98 days, or approximately six days. The population's going to double. And that's a little shortcut. It's not in your book. It's called the doubling rules. You get this as a, as a bonus for watching this video. And it will solve uh, that problem. Then the last part of the problem says, how many days before the population reaches 500? I'll let you do that. You're going to put in, you want A to be 500. You want this to be 100. I help you out a little bit. And you're going to do this, but this number up here will be N. So you're going to have to use something like we used up here in order to do that bonus problem. You're going to have to use a logarithm at the end. Okay. All right, let's look at the second part well, of that. Let's see if we have what's, what the next quiz is going to have on it. Because I'll look real quick here. Yeah, I kind of jumped the gun. And, um, but I will show you something here. So maybe I do this problem right here. This will help you with the bonus problem too, actually. Uh, let's take a look at, in your book, on example four, on page 342. I'm going to do a variation on this. If you don't have a book, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll give you the problem. Uh, in 2016, the population of India was 1.3 billion. Okay, and its growth rate is 1.2% per year that it's increasing by. <clears throat> and it's, we're going to assume that this is, uh, is remaining constant. But instead of doing what the book does, I want to know when is the bill, when is the population of India going to reach 2 billion? To double it, if I wanted a doubling, I just use my 70 divided by 1.2. And that'll tell me approximately when it would double. And if you look in the book, it's 58.1, you'll probably get 58.3. So it's going to be pretty close. On this one, we're going to write down the amount is equal to the population times 1 plus the rate divided by the number of years. Okay, that's going to be our formula. We want the population to be 2 billion. 
Right now it's 1.3 billion. One plus R. And we want to know the exact year, but right now we don't want to use 216 and those kind of numbers. We're trying to find that. And our rate is 1.2. So this, this problem does require us to put in this as a decimal. So this would be 0 0.012. Okay, I should have put that in right away. So anyhow, two is equal to 1.3 times one plus 0 0.012, and give me that n. Okay, so how am I gonna solve this? I can't, I can't multiply these together yet because it has an exponent. I have to do the exponent first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide off the 1.3 first. There's a rule like you can't distribute unless you have the power worked out. So two divided by 1.3 is, let's carry it out a few places, 1.385 I'll put down. Of course, the more places you carry it out, the more accuracy you get. So that eliminated that. Now I have 1.012n. Now, how am I going to solve that? I'm going to use the old log trick. Log 1.5385. You can write this out or whatever. And this is log 0.012n. And I'm going to simply put my n in front of here. equals n times log 1.012. So I'm going to divide both sides. You get along by itself. I'm going to divide this side. Divide this by the same number. All right. And that should give me n. So I'm going to calculate that out. Um, I want log. 0.5385, you can see it. Good. Parentheses, divide, log, make sure you put that in front, 1.012. And parentheses, where the heck is my parent? Okay, equals 36.1. So let's just call it 36, 36 years. But they want to know the exact year. So we're going to take our year 2016. We're going to add 36 to it. And this is give me the year 1250. In 2052, the population of India will be approximately 2 billion people. I wish they all migrate to the United States or whatever. But anyhow, it should be 2052. Uh, or around there. You know, if this holds up, maybe the, see what the trouble is with growth rate, it might go down, it might go up. So it's just a prediction. It's not set in stone. Prediction. Okay. So I hope that helps you with the next quiz that's coming up. It should help you with uh, 7.4a, and it should help you with 7.4b, the rule of 70, huh? 70 divided by the 0.2. Another way you can do it is you can hit um, LN2. There's a little key here called the LN. That's a natural log, and that's basic basic weird and then you would use the point zero one two and if you do that it comes out pretty close it won't be exactly the same this one's a little closer to the to the actual answer this one's not quite as close but it's actually it's more accurate but it it won't match up quite with the answer in the book so there's two ways you can find um doubling time and both
know that these are not in your book. It just they might be a little bit later. I'm not sure, but at least they're not in your book right now. But it's just something you can memorize if you want to find out how long it takes something to double based on exponential growth, and it's uh, it's growing continuously. Uh, this would tell you the doubling time. So I hope this is useful. And if you watch this, then you got a good insight and on how to do uh, those problems on 7.4a. All right, thank you.